How's it going guys? I got another unboxing for you. This is uh, from Innovating Solutions LLC. They're the makers of the TAPQ temperature monitoring system. So I'm going to hand the camera over while I unbox this. I went ahead and cut it already so I'll make it a little bit easier for me. But let's see what we got here. We have the TAPQ powered by Innovating Solutions. The ultimate Wi-Fi barbecue thermometer. Um, it's designed and assembled in the United States of America. So let's get this out. Here, it looks like we got a temperature device uh, or TAPQ device, four probes, power plug, USB cord, mounting bracket. Um, here's a little graph session of what you can do with it. There's four probes in here, so let's get this uh, opened up here. All right, we got some getting started here. Government compliance. Um, we got a little accessories, stuff that we can purchase for this. So let's see what we got here. We got uh, four meat probes or temperature probes here. We got a six foot USB mini. little mounting bracket, little plug-in for the USB cord, and then the actual unit itself, the TAPIQ. So, we'll open this up. And this is a TAPIQ version 2. There's a V1 and a V2, and this is a second version. So, as you can see, TAPIQ 2. But, alright guys, well I think that's it for this unboxing here. You know, it's kind of a nice unit, you know. Nice little foam here. And it's a little bit different design from the V1. There was an external antenna here, and I think this is splash proof. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to using this thing. So be on the lookout for uh, any future videos using this. Thanks guys. All right, guys, you just watched the, the unboxing of it, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and set it up. Um, there is, I haven't found any uh, videos for the TAPQ uh, set up for a Mac, so I thought I'd make this video, and thought it'd be helpful for uh, anybody else who had a Mac as well. So um, we're going to need, obviously, the TAPQ, and then we're going to need the USB cord slash charger here. You got a micro and then you got a regular USB here and we'll be connecting this the smaller one um, to the bottom here you see so let's get that connected here and um, we're not going to connect it to the computer just yet um, well, I'm going to wait till we get a little bit further along but just so you're aware um, these are the two pieces that we're using so let me go ahead and uh, switch over to um, a screen recording and uh, we'll go ahead and get started, guys. Thanks. All right, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put up Safari or Firefox or whatever you guys use. And we're going to go to Google and type in TAPQ downloads. And what you're going to see is this tapq.com slash downloads. So we're going to click that here. And we're going to hit Mac because we're using the MacBook Pro today. So we're going to hit Mac Setup and it's downloaded you can go down to your downloads here but for me it's just easier to oh, sorry about that it's just easier for me to click down here with the TAPQ Mac installation so I'm going to double click that and then I'm going to double click the TAPQ symbol here and then I'm going to click open so I'll just minimize that and close that so um, I don't have an account ID or password, so we're going to click register new account. So, alright. Uh, let's see, I'll just use my uh, YouTube name. I'll just reverse the numbers. Um, let's see, buddy123. Guest password, we'll just leave it as guest1. Guest1. And I'll use my YouTube email address, so it's Alright, and my name is Antonio, and I'm just going to make up an address here. Um, I don't want to put my real address. 
and then country united united states let me capitalize that zip code is 3687 and then we're going to click save here um this account already exists okay let's see oh what if we go one two three four tony buddy one two three four so we're going to click save. The account information saved successfully. Proceed on to the register tap a queue. So we're going to click OK. So um, I'm going to hit the register. It says plug in your tap a queue and enter your name for your tap queue. So give me a second here and let me plug this in. I went in. ahead and plugged it in and um, I named it Dell's tap a queue. So I'm just going to click save and it says device successfully registered. Proceed to Wi Fi setup and I'm going to click OK. So we're going to go to the Wi Fi setup here. Alright, and we're going to choose our network, and um, my network is free Wi-Fi. So we're going to click Save Network, and it says Successful. Alright, so the security type, I know it's a WPA2, and the reason I know that is because we're going to go over here on our Wi-Fi settings, and we're going to open the network preferences. So we're going to wait for this to pop up here. And we're going to click the free Wi-Fi. And then we're going to go to advanced. And once you're in advanced, you can see WPA2 personal. And then I'm going to, as the security type, so we're going to go OK. And then I'll just exit out. So WPA, that's N2. So we're going to save type. Successful. And then we're going to go down here and I'm going to type in my password. Buddy123. I'm going to check the free Wi-Fi, but before I do that, let me make sure I save this here. So, let's check it one more time. Success. And check password. Success. And then we're going to check the connection. And then success. And then you got a utilities here where you can set your Fahrenheit, Celsius, and stuff. I'm just going to leave everything like this. So, what we're going to do is just go back to the account information. And before I get out of this, um... I'm going to screenshot this because I have a tendency of forgetting um, my information. So I like to screenshot it and save it. So I'm going to click Shift Command 3 on my Mac. And what you're going to see here is a screenshot of what I just took here. So, all right, well, I guess that's uh, setting it up. Now I'm seeing uh, on my uh, Tappy Q, I just have a green light that's flashing. So I'm guessing it, it uh, went ahead and and went through so I'm just going to exit out of this and I'll go ahead and unplug this and um, I'm going to see if I can somehow film um, the app and show you guys uh, from there but if I can't um, I'll have to wait until my wife gets home but we'll see well, um, I'll get back with you guys here alright guys um, my wife's asleep but I'm going to go see, go ahead and see if I can film this um, so it might be a little shaky so bear with me I went ahead and plugged in my tap -a -Q. And you can see it's reading 75, 75. They're just, uh, that's ambient uh, temperature. And you'll see three and four is low. That's just because I don't have it, uh, my uh, temp probes plugged in. So I just plugged in two for this demo here. So um, we're going to pull out the iPad here or your iPhone or Android or whatever. So we're going to go to uh, the App Store here. And then we're going to go to the search fun function here. And then we're going to type in tap -a -Q. And I already have that pulled up. And you'll see tap -a -Q here. And it's going to say downloaded. Or download. And I already have it downloaded. So I'm not going to uh, do anything from there. So what I'll do is I'll come down here. And you'll see the little app here. So I'm going to click the tap -a -Q. And then I'm going to log in. So if you remember correctly, we created that account name. And the account name I, I brought up was TonyBuddy1234. So let me type in my password real quick. Alright, so we're going to start a new session here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we're just going to type in test 1, 2, I guess. And we're going to click return, or click next, sorry. Um, so with this, we're going to click the probe one, and we're just going to uh, just make some stuff up as we go. And then you'll see the next at the top right, so we're going to click that. 
and then these are presets you can go in here and manually set them uh, any way you like I'm just gonna leave them like this since it's just uh, showing you guys how so I'm gonna click next and you'll see Kayla's iPad which is my wife and it's saying if I want uh, alert notifications and I do so I'll click on I'm gonna click start session so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to view current session and we're gonna go to Dell's tap the queue we're gonna click at current temperatures you're gonna see that my Wi-Fi is disconnected um, you're gonna see this little uh, we're gonna refresh and you can see that my Wi-Fi is now connected and that my probe 1 is reading at 75 and probe 2 at 75 which is showing you the exact same thing that we're reading here so but alright guys well that's the setup um, if you guys have any questions or concerns go ahead and uh, leave them down in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them um, I hope this video helps some of you guys out so alright guys thank you